Hello everybody and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. This is uh, the review of Love Luna. Um, it was for this um, menstrual cup. Um, this is the size 2 menstrual cup. I don't think it really wants to focus. There we go. This is the size 2 menstrual cup. And... Uh, got little uh, flower designs on the bottom for grip. No, it doesn't like focusing at the moment. Okay, um, this is the box that came in. Um, this was gotten, uh, I got this on sale. Sometimes I will, you know, <laughs> have to language properly. Anyway, um, this is uh, from Target. I'm pretty sure it was like $5, maybe even less, which is why I picked it up. So it was on sale from Target and uh, it's made in New Zealand. Love Luna My Cup. Um, this warning up here, which is for eight hours, to be worn up to eight hours, is under uh, TGA guidelines. So uh, TGA is the Therapeutic Goods Administration, which for those of you in the US is the Australian equivalent of the FDA. So it's just Australia's regu regulatory body um, and they have recommended um, that menstrual cups no longer be um, worn up to 12 hours but be worn up to 8 hours. Um, so this box, ergonomic, healthier 100% medical grade soft silicon free from plastics rubber latex and BPA and sustainable so it can reduce landfill contribution by 39.5 kilograms a year kilograms a year per menstrual cup wearer there we go this is the back of it so their uh, two sizes were, um, size one is suitable for ages 16 plus years who use regular tampons and all those who may be first time cup users and size two is suitable for ages 16 plus who use super tampons and all those who m may have given birth vaginally. So, warnings and precautions. This also has FDA approval. So that is the box, um, and then obviously, you know, we're going to knock your camera over. Um, the cup, the instruction manual cup, which basically just goes over. You know, wash your hands. You can relax in the shower. Um, warm your cup. Fold. Insert. Twist and pull, wear 46 hours, remove, rinse, and or wash, repeat, boil 3 minutes, store. So I usually kind of wait to just before my period um, to boil it again. I don't do it after particularly my period because I just usually wash it out with soap um, and water and or I use maybe a Milton uh, antibacterial um, tablet, soak it in that so that uh, nothing kind of sticks around on it and then I'll boil it just before I use my period, just before I have my period so it's there ready to use but that's kind of what it goes over um, and kind of goes over some of the benefits here um, and it gives you more information and I've become far more familiar with these over the last couple of years. Okay, so that's, um, I also have other um, Love Luna products. I don't think it wants to focus at all today. Ah, um, I have these pads here, um, 
which are black and organic cotton and I have I think four or five pairs of the underwear um, I had more but I've been wearing them for three or four years now so some of them did actually fall apart um, the other ones are in the wash which is why I've just got this one here um, I have mine all in black there are however uh, multi colors now um, and multiple colors um, I will be linking the Love Luna website down below uh, and you can purchase directly off the Love Luna website where they have like packages where you can get four or five but in Australia you can also get Love Luna from uh, Big W from uh, like Chemist Warehouse, from Target, from um, places like that. So they are actually available, and Coles and Woolworths as well, So you, which are supermarkets. So they're kind of a variety of big box stores where they're accessible and available for you to purchase from. So you don't necessarily always have to go via the website, but you can get more um, coloured underwear. Um, Love Luna was founded in 2017 um, and released their first marketable products in 2018. Um, they have since expanded uh, their range from their underwear um, to things like pads, menstrual cups. They also do uh, bladder, leakage, uh, like bl bladder leakage underwear. Um, they also have uh, they also support Share the Dignity. I will also link Share the Dignity down below as well. Um, because Share the Dignity is a uh, charity in Australia that was founded in Brisbane. I've done a video on Share the Dignity where they provide menstrual products to uh, menstruators in need of, of them. <laughs> Of them that sounds a bit weird um, I have done a previous review on the underwear um, for Love Luna um, and they also come in a variety of shapes as well so you can get them in bikini in full in boy shorts and all of those uh, types of fun things um, so uh, like a teen first period 12 pack um, which should the 12 packs are good um, number of underwear to start with at least um, is about $170 um, and a three pack is about $45 um, so that probably gives you a uh, kind of price range down there but you can obviously also go check um, all of this out on um, online um, they also do biodegradable um, pads which they released kind of after they started doing the underwear so they kind of went backwards they went they started off with uh reusable rewashable stuff and kind of went backwards into um biodegradable pads but anyway so i do a wide variety of stuff um i wore this cup in um the september august and July period um, and I wore I didn't wear this on my heaviest day I tend to be quite heavy um, I would probably say about 50% of my period um, is day two um, and I usually have about a five day period um, and I would get 50% of um, my loss on day two and the rest of the 50% on day one three four and five so um, usually my Yuki cup is the one I would wear on my heaviest day, which is generally my second day. Um, and because of that, I didn't know how this cup was going to do. So I um, wore it on, I think, I think in July I wore it on my first day. Um, and in August I wore it on my third day, I believe. And this time I wore it on my first day when well, my third day I think I wore it my third day when I went into the office um yeah because I went into the office on the Wednesday so um it held up really well it is it, the first time I uh, put it in was a bit weird um and it was just because it's a new cup it, it when you get a new type of silicon makeup it can take a little bit um of getting used to how it pops out um within within you basically <laughs> Um, and it was perfectly fine it once it popped out it was exceptionally comfortable I didn't feel it at all um, and that was the first time 
so that was the July period perfectly um, fine didn't feel it didn't think about it didn't worry about it um, I do have a very high cervix and so getting it out um, required a little bit of digging um, and that was a bit not annoying it was just it just it's just my cervix height is quite high so it meant it went right up um, the August period um, it did push over onto my bladder a bit um, that's probably how I put it in um, a lot of instruction manuals tell you to push towards the back to push towards your um, tailbone um, if I push back towards my tailbone um, the cup inevitably leaks and it comes out um, it's do it doesn't conform to the way obviously my body wants things done um, I have to kind of push up and to the right um, to get it into a position where it will work so um, this time I put it into the wrong position and it did push on my bladder all day um, which was uh, just a bit annoying I just had to go to the bathroom more frequently but it was still outside of pushing on my bladder it still was super comfortable and super you didn't notice it was there so you know I wasn't sitting around um, all day worrying about it um, definitely a cup you should try it is the only thing is it doesn't come in multiple colors which is probably a bit um, I prefer I prefer colored cups to be honest with you um, as I think probably most of you will know uh, I'm not the hugest fan of just um, basic clear silicon um, and it's actually the same probably for uh, my underwear and my pads is I do prefer um, having colored underwear and pads I don't these ones here um, I actually love these clips um, these are really really good clips um, especially actually if you wear uh, small gusseted underwear um, these actually will be the least irritating ones that you'll find um, the problem for me is that I tend to bleed out over the side I'm a really massive center bleeder so especially with the wings I tend to bleed out over the wings without um, without actual the wings here um, as with the other pads I have I will actually probably leak more with these and we with, them with any other pads just because um, the the wings aren't there but you know that but if you have small gusseted underwear um, or underwear that's going to fit into here um, and the wings tend to irritate you particularly along the side here um, you know where your leg um, and yeah, uh, you, particularly where your leg and your, um, your vulva are meeting on the outside, you will actually get um, these types of, uh, and that, that may rub for you. Um, these are actually really, really good wings to have for that. Um, these are again black, so while you may actually prefer to have black underwear, um, you may like having black underwear and um, this may actually suit you perfectly fine um, I've never had a problem with stains because I do have washing videos up if you want to go watch them uh, and I can actually you can actually watch how I get my stains out so stains aren't really a problem for me but these if you prefer black the underwear comes in a whole variety of colors I just when I purchased them I bought the black um, but yes so love Luna um, in the September period I wore on the third day um, again and it's just because I was at home day one and day two and if I'm at home I'm not wearing a menstrual cup I'll basically wear a menstrual cup when I go out because that's how I roll but still this is um, this is how I like it um, but this cup is a really really comfortable cup um, if you keep your eye out for sales um, you can probably get them um, much like I did uh, for like five bucks um, this it and it is a proper menstrual cup it is not a cheap and nasty one it is a perfectly amenable uh, menstrual cup that is affordable for a lot of people so um, the underwear again you know is between ten and fifteen dollars um, you can get bundles um, of between forty and $170 depending on how many you're purchasing at once and they come in five different styles a variety of different colors and they come in anything from tween to 
light bladder leakage so you get a wide variety of cover coverage these are um, it's an australian owned and designed company this uh this menstrual cup is uh made in new zealand and the underwear is made in indonesia um, i'm pretty sure that the love luna um company oh the the factory that produces the love luna underwear is the same factory that produces the anko underwear i will be doing a review of the anko underwear as well so that uh and you'll see how similar they are however this love luna cup is definitely a recommended cup um it held up really really well and is definitely affordable if you don't have you know some of the it's getting a lot easier and a lot better i um, in the last couple of years but uh this is easily far more easily accessible to a lot of people now and this is probably the most affordable i have ever seen a cup um even though the moxie cup and the tom's cup was pretty um they were still 25 30 dollars um this uh this on sale was five dollars so definitely worth it um i will make all these links down below thank you for watching enjoy your morning afternoon or evening depending on where you are in the day and i of course will catch up with you all in the next video bye everyone